about have called me everything from a left-wing hack to a sociopath to even a self-hating Jew. This joke is Max Blumenthal, a son of former Bill Clinton aide Sidney Blumenthal, and he's our next useful idiot candidate. Max used to be a well-respected journalist working for outlets like The New York Times, The LA Times, and Al Jazeera. But somewhere around 2015, a switch flipped and he began publishing materials consisted of Russian propaganda about the Nazi coup in Kiev or the genocide of Russian-speaking population in Donbas. Taking leave of his gray matter, he set up a far-left website called The Gray Zone, which has downplayed Chinese persecution of the Uyghurs and Assad's human rights abuses in Syria. Since when did the left start literally standing up for authoritarian regimes? I, I actually grew up in D.C. during the crack epidemic. And as I watched Zelensky, I mean, getting more and more desperate, he started to remind me of the pipeheads that used to follow me home from school. He's like, it's never good enough for him. He's like, the cluster bombs bite it. They're not hitting like they used to. I need the big one bite it. I need the nuclear weapon. I need the nuclear I'll suck your dick bite it. What I think really happened was that a uh, Biden official, like Tony Blinken or something, came to Vladimir Zelensky and said, we can't find another Jewish guy to cover up for all this Nazi shit. We're just gonna have to get like a Nazi guy in there. So you have to stay in there for as long as possible. Zelensky's Jewish. And Zelensky was like, okay, just gonna keep it going. I think at this point, the word Nazi has begun to lose its meaning. So let me just ask you this. Do Nazis have a free press? democratic elections, freedom of speech, meaningful political opposition, because Ukraine has all those things. You know who doesn't? A f***ing Russia. And I guess China and Saudi Arabia and, well, the list actually goes on, so a lot. But uh, we in Ukraine are fighting to defend our country, our homes, our families. And Ukraine has never once asked for the US or UK or any of our allies to fight this war for us. All we have asked is to give us the things we need to win. So yes, we want cluster bombs. Yes, we want F-16s. No, we don't want nukes. And while it may be fun for champagne socialists like Max to play around with provocative attention-seeking opinions, the reality is that people are dying in Ukraine. Not just soldiers, not just first responders, but all people, women and children. So this is for you, Max. You want yourself the number one spot on our Useful Idiots board. If you want to help us pick the next winner, send your favorite examples of pro-Russian propaganda to info at europeanedge.show and we'll use them on air.